They serve, protect, and lead. Meet the key women who are shaping the future of Israel's forests and helping to keep them alive. Ahead of International Women's Day, KKL JNF is highlighting some of its top workers, including its recently appointed chairwoman, Ifat Ovadia Lutsky. Founded in 1901, the Karen Kayemet Israel Jewish National Fund, or KKL JNF, has planted over a quarter of a billion trees in Israel in the past several decades. For the first time ever, a woman was appointed to head the organization. After more than 120 years, a woman was appointed to chair the organization. I think that my appointment really sends a message to the people of Israel. This is a historic decision. A survey published before International Women's Day showed that women still have a long way to go when it comes to holding executive roles. According to Moody's Analytics, worldwide, women hold only 23% of all senior positions. In Israel, the picture is not any rosier. Though exact figures are hard to find for the workplace as a whole, in high tech, women take up less than a quarter of management roles, according to a recent startup Israeli ecosystem diversity report. When it comes to the KKL JNF, Ifat is hoping to make a positive change. There are women at Karen Kayemet Lee Israel JNF in senior positions, but there's still room for improvement. We do need more women at the management level. I believe that this would help advance the organization. I will do everything to ensure that women take up more and more key positions at Karen Kayemet Lee Israel JNF. Anat Gold is in charge of field management in Israel's central region. She manages 200 workers from a wide variety of disciplines, including foresters, engineers, and scientists. I think a field manager is a challenge, and many women today like that. We have many foresters. What's new is that we're beginning to see more and more women in this area. Another leading director is Karine Bolton, who is helping to advance agreements between Israel and other countries around the globe, especially when it comes to climate change. International relations and climate change are extremely, extremely important, especially to our organization, and I think that's the future. I think that our world is now a global world, it's a global village, and we have to work together to solve the challenges that are, are facing us, and I think that is what Karen Kayemet is taking on, I think that's what KKL is advancing, and I'm proud to be a part of that. It's important to get the message across that we women can leave our comfort zones and the golden cages which we sometimes find ourselves in and aim high. We can be the decision makers, not just the ones helping those making the decisions. We can be in a position to have an impact. From Nasarim, Maya Margit, reporting for the Media Line.